Smart factory solutions for any mix, any volume. Total integrated solutions, allowing you to focus on your business while we manage your production challenges. Welcome to the Panasonic booth here at uh, IPC Apex. I'm joined by Sean Murray, who's the general manager uh, of sales here in North America. Yes, welcome Trevor, good to see you. So we've got a couple of new machines that we want to talk about. We've got the NPM uh, WX and the NPM, uh, is it WXS or just? WXS. Okay, all right, so I got it correct. So tell us a little bit, Sean, about the features of, of this new platform. Sure, yeah, so the, the X series for, uh, for the NPM platform is the next generation of the NPM platform. So uh, in a nutshell, it's, it's more and more and more. So it's uh, more feeder positions, so going up to 136 eight millimeter feeder positions on this machine standard. Uh, yes, perfect. Uh, the ability to double the tray count. You get up to 80 individual tray parts on this machine. The speed as well. So uh, if you want a chip shooter version of this machine, 86,000 CPH at IPC 9850. That is really fast for, our, for somebody in, in you know, a high mix uh, type of environment. It absolutely is. Uh, and again, of course, if you don't need the speed, mm -hmm. you can go with the XS, which is a single beam machine. So uh, speed might not be your most important uh, uh, function. Uh, you put two machines, you get double that 136 feeder positions, still fast enough and very capable. Um, when I said more, 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 also more board size. So these uh, machines also go up to 610 millimeters wide. So uh, very wide, and as always, 1.2 meters long capability. People are doing these big uh, LED boards and things like that. Yeah, absolutely. What about the, um, the software and control side? What's happening on that? Yeah, so even better. So every year, of course, with uh, the benefit of having Panasim, uh, made, you know, written locally uh, for the U.S. market, we're essentially the uh, the factory for Panasim worldwide. Um, we put extra focus into our existing Panasim software, but also our NPI tools. So these machines now will have an, a better native NPI uh, screen structure. So mm -hmm. it's uh, more intuitive as customers go through their new product introduction. Fewer screens, fewer steps, uh, and more intuitive as they go through it. At the same time, of course. Our regular Panasim products have advanced. Our uh, process tracker software is, uh, has been implemented in a number of locations and new functionality added, so it's getting better and better. Uh, and that's the, that's the software that uh, allows you to do process control and traceability throughout the entire process outside of the automation. Uh, and our new maintenance software, which allows you to track the maintenance for an entire facility, that's been implemented in a number of facilities and keeps getting better and better. Right. Yeah. Now, I remember at, at Productronica, uh, you introduced a new a new software platform called INLB. Uh, what I -L -N -B. it? INLB. Okay. Uh, where does that fit in, in the mix? Yeah. So that that again, that's our, our next generation of uh, line controller box. So essentially, um, regardless of whose software for MES uh, uh, factory uses, there's always concerns about what happens if the uh, the MES fails. Right. Uh, doesn't happen very often, but if it does, the whole factory could be brought down, right, uh, in theory. So the ILNB stops that from happening. It's a, it's a separate line controller for each line. Um, so first and foremost, if there's an issue with the software, it only affects one line, not the whole facility. Uh, but more importantly, the ILNB is a new uh, communication protocol with our third party uh, partners. Mm -hmm. So now it communicates natively with SPI, AOI, oven, conveyors, really? Uh, without uh, some of the uh, some of the issues that other communication protocols have, which uh, kind of duplicates the data, this is a streamless sort of or a more streamlined uh, way to communicate with third party. Right, that's, that's very important. What about um, companies with uh, legacy equipment? Uh, if you go into a factory and you say, well, you know, we'd love to buy a new NPM WX, but uh, we've already got uh, an existing printer that's uh, 10 years old or something like that. Uh, can, can you communicate with that? Yeah, so absolutely. So again, the, the everything Panasonic does is has to do with connectivity, right? So for for many many years, our focus has been on connecting um, islands of technology together. So uh, the reason why we got into the Panasim platform in the first place many years ago is to make that connectivity more seamless, easier. Uh, so for for any kind of third party, yes, we can connect, um, and that's that's already integrated. It's already happening uh, in many factories around the world. So it's a, an established product, if you will. Well, you know, it, it's great to see how you've managed to expand from being essentially a high volume uh, provider to being really down into the high mix environment and very successfully. So uh, congratulations. And that's the other benefit of, uh, of really the WX platform is we've taken that 
that high volume DNA. So all of the accuracy, the repeatability, the robustness required to work in a high volume. And we brought it down to the, uh, the high mix environment. So a lot of our high mix customers have had to deal with less robust machines to get the flexibility. Well now we've got the robustness and the repeatability, repeatability and the accuracy with uh, flexibility. You're going to trickle down technology, it's like a space race. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Sean, always a pleasure. Thank you for giving us the update on the latest machines uh, and great to see you. Yes, thank you.